big thick plates jingle and left spaces like it hit the left little space between the plates so they would roll so you could hear the weight you could see the weight you could smell the iron you could taste the iron and on all the senses were involved there's a special thing that happens when you, you can only do 10 15 reps and somehow you conjure up 15 more reps i mean it's like magic it's like the world is yours and uh, you know, there's a special power that you realize that you have when you go to failure in the set. You, you, it's, a, it's a destructive or creative destruction. You're a student and sometimes you're a teacher forever. I'll say that again. Sometimes you're a student and sometimes you're a teacher forever. To look good when you go out or what have you is becoming bigger and bigger. You look in magazines, you look in a, a lot of things, all these new men's health and stuff now. Like it's in your face all the time. So the peer pressure is massive, especially for youngsters now. I mean, back in the day when I was 20, nobody was training. Now you've seen kids at sort of like 16, 17, that have got great physiques on them. So I think there's a huge pressure. I looked in the mirror and I thought, it looks amazing. I'm actually almost 100% happy with that. Now to keep that, I have to be on strict, strict eating. So I go off to chart, eat a little bit of bad food, the normal food, cake, what have you. Next thing you know, you start thinking, right, I shouldn't have eaten that. Everyone in the gym's looking good. I've got to look good. Yeah, let's drop the carbs out, let's do this. It's not the way to be. But unfortunately, everyone's starting to think like that. your life and I just think the fine balance in life is to have that fine balance have it on the side do it as a hobby like I have now I put it behind me it comes second whereas before it always just come first since it comes second I feel so much better in myself I've still got those slight I'm not happy the way I look when I've got off season but at least it's more control and at least I can say to people that you know I'm, I am sort of happy in myself whereas before I would be continuously stepping on the scales and you know it's just a vicious vicious circle so my advice to a lot of people is if you're going to get into it make sure you understand it's not your life it's your hobby and when things become your life it is a lifestyle but still have it as a second best so um, it's a bit vague as well mine and leaner when i get myself into shape i'm pretty much happy when I'm in shape now, off season, I'm not happy because I feel that I'm overweight and a lot of people think you're mad, but obviously that's a separate thought, that is part of the illness that I've got, which I understand. And after 20 years, I've understood that. I would definitely play it, but I'll stop completely, you know, I'll tone my physique down, definitely. Because even to carry my muscle that I've got, sometimes it can be a little bit, uh, it's, it's like a burden sometimes, so I would definitely drop down a few stones, don't pass it, help me.